<laughs> Welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In today's episode of Tool Time, we'll be looking at the Reflect tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to pass you over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks, Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, you can see on the left hand side, we have a simple design setup that we created using the reflection tool. And over on the right hand side, we basically have half of that design that we're going to use the reflection tool to finish the design with. So before we start, it's worth noting that there are a few different ways we can reflect objects within Illustrator. First of all, you need to always make sure that the objects you want to reflect are selected first. One of those options is is going to my properties panel here you can see we have a flip along the horizontal axis shortcut we also have one for the vertical axis but in this case I'll just click the horizontal axis and you can see it's flipping these objects however we're not able to duplicate them at the same time so this only has limited use I can equally go up to object in my top menu here and then transform and we have a reflect option within here and we get a pop-up menu where we have some more control we are able to copy this as well so this gives us more control however even easier than that is to just use the reflect tool so it can be found over on the left hand side and by default you will see the rotate tool in its place but if I just click and hold on the rotate tool you can see underneath we have the reflect tool the keyboard shortcut is O and I can start using this by simply just clicking and dragging and you can see it is reflecting this selection however without holding anything else it's a little bit tricky to do precisely however if I hold shift you can see we can lock this to 90 degree angles and we get a more precise reflection I'm just going to press command Z you'll also notice although it's quite hard to see here that we have a small cross here and that's by default in the center of your overall selection so this is the point at which we're reflecting now I can click and drag and move this around to another point. So in this example, we'd want to reflect this along this central line here. So I'm moving it there. And now if I hold shift again and click and drag, we are able to reflect this perfectly along that plane. Now, if I just let go, we're just reflecting that selection. We're not duplicating it, which isn't ideal in this situation. So I'll press command Z. However, if I do the same thing, holding shift and click and drag, and this time hold option as well, or alt on a PC. If I let go now, it's going to duplicate it and we're going to get the desired effect. I'm just going to press Command Z again though. There's one other option that we can use and that's again holding Option or Alt on a PC. I can simply click where I want my point of reflection to be. So obviously it's already set along this line. However, I'll just click further up holding Option and we get the same pop-up that we had when we went via the Object Transform menu. So you can see we have some more options here. I can choose Horizontal reflection or I can set an angle of my choosing. In this example I want it to be vertical and you can see down at the bottom we have an option to copy this so it's going to duplicate our selection and reflect it at the same time. And that's really it for the reflection tool. It comes in very handy for designs like this and I'd highly recommend you use it as well. If you want to learn more about graphic design, then we've created a free one hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not gonna want to miss it. I'll see you there.